Art at Alpin High School, I learned that people can be very diverse, like everyone's creativity is different, so it's nice to see what everyone else has in their head that they can bring out onto the canvas. Favorite art class was definitely Mr. O'Brien's class, because he really lets us do whatever we want. My favorite type of art is fine art, because I just mainly like working with like pens, pencils, and I also like applied art, because you get to work with your hands, you get to make things like 3D. And uh, that's what I like. I'm actually going to the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale in Florida. When I graduate from college, I either want to go into being a tattoo artist or some type of illustration for magazines. I feel Mr. O'Brien and Ms. Kurt and all the other art teachers did a very good job at teaching us not to be afraid of art, to do whatever we want, to be confident. First level students, we have Fine Art 1 and Applied Art 1. Uh, they're good entry level courses for students who maybe haven't, haven't done art in a while or really haven't done it at all. Fine Art 1 is painting, drawing, uh, a little bit of 3D, 3D work. Uh, the difference, Applied Art is more sculptural. We, use, we do ceramics, uh, we do some fiber arts like paper mache, and we also do metalworking. So you get, as the first level, you get to try each one and see what you like more, then you can move on from there. Throughout um, my art classes that I've taken at Manalpin High School, I've learned that everybody has their own vision and that when one person looks at one object, they can see something entirely different than you are, but it still is amazing. I got accepted into FIT and I'm going for fine arts. Eventually, I want to publish a book. I want to um, open up my own art gallery, and also I want to become a art therapist. Our upper level classes, Art Three, is a full year cl uh, class, uh, mostly uh, very serious students. Art Four, and we also have uh, AP classes as well. Uh, AP Art Four is honors. Most of our students pursue art to some degree. Uh, they will go on art school, college, or it might even be for uh, self-enrichment. Um, we have had students that have left Manalapan that have pursued uh, careers as a designer, as an artist, um, as a craftsperson. Okay, in Manalapan High School, my favorite class was fine art because I stayed in fine art for four years. Mr. Brian was always my teacher. I learned basically to just uh, do your thing, I guess. Um, just stay true to yourself and just um, work hard at what you do. I was accepted to Parsons New School for Design in the city. I do the Advanced Applied Arts. It has an Applied Art 2, we have a Applied Art 3 program, and we have an Applied Art 4 Honors program. Applied Art versus Fine Art is really metals, fibers, and uh, the clay. You know, metal, fiber, and clay. And really Applied Art is about making things that you use more rather than art for art's sake, it's like sculpture and, and paintings which are for de decoration. Now, what we do in the advanced levels, we do things like batiking, which is fabric design where you use wax and dyes on fabric. We uh, we use the potter's wheel, you know, we do clay and applied art one, but we just take everything to the next level. We've had a lot of students go to a lot of good art schools. Um, we've had them go to Parsons and a lot of students like FIT, um, University of the Arts in Philadelphia. A um, few kids have, um, you know, gone on to schools in Florida and uh, yeah, so it's, it's varied. We try to help guide them. We definitely do a lot of the portfolio. Mr. O'Brien and myself usually work with those upper level students to develop a portfolio.